Okay, so um, about two years into my career as an international school teacher, my mom decided to retire from her job as an educational assistant. So in order to help celebrate her retirement, I bought her an iPad. So this iPad was meant to serve two purposes. Number one, it was supposed to be something that she can learn and that she could do while she had all this free time on her hands now that she's retired. And second, it was so that she could keep in contact with her beloved son that was 12 time zones away in Japan. But she didn't really understand the idea of time zones, so she would just call me day and night about the most ridiculous things like how to use the YouTube or uh, where did you keep the fabric softener when you left for Japan? So what I did is I was like, you know what? I am just going to turn on Skype whenever I want to talk to my mom, and that was it. So now my mom's got this iPad, and she's bored because she can't call me. So she turned to the world of chain emails. <laughs> so you, you've all had these, right? Every day I get these emails that were saying, like, if you don't send this to 10 of your friends by the end of the day, you'll have bad luck at the casino for the rest of your life. So I want to know if I could create my own public service announcement and give it to my mom and see if she would fall for it. So I told her that the glue that is used to hold the toilet paper to your cardboard toilet paper roll and to keep it from unraveling before you first started using it was actually dangerous and hazardous to your health. You see, the glue was actually a type of glue that is made out of horse hooves. And while it was friendly for your septic system because it was eco-friendly and, you know, but it, it was actually very hazardous to the most delicate parts of your body. So, I waited a day, and before I knew it, my mom had sent this email to her 13 brothers and sisters, and from there, that just spread, and my cousins have it now, and lots of my friends in the Philippines have it now, and every so often, I still get an email saying, don't use the beginnings or ends of your toilet roll, because it's bad for you. Now, my mom, she trusted me, because I'm her son, but she really should have questioned her sources. So, that's what I'm here talking to you about today. So, I think that there are two reasons to check up on your sources. Number one, we check for legitimacy. And as teachers, this is not a brand new idea. We do this all the time, right? We, we're high school teachers, when we're checking for plagiarism, we use Turnitin. As a second grade teacher, I just have to compare handwriting samples to see if someone's plagiarizing. But, and as, as consumers of the internet, we can, we can turn to Snopes to see if something's an urban legend or not. But I think the second reason why we should check our sources is because it gives us a chance to learn more as we check its validity. You see, if my mom just took two seconds to see if her son was full of BS, then she would have realized that there's no horse hoof glue in toilet paper rolls. But in fact, there are three different types of glue that goes into the production of every toilet paper roll. And not only that, but there's a whole industry of adhesives that is dedicated to producing toilet paper rolls. She could have gone on forever doing way more research. Now, what am I trying to say? Well, I'm trying to say we've, we've learned a lot of things here at this conference. So much. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. We need to go back home. We need to sit with our colleagues. We need to talk to them and discuss how the things that we've learned, the little sparks, could be used in our classrooms and in our schools in a way that it would fit. And that's why I think the idea of the unconference is such a powerful idea. It gives us a chance to unpack and to build, and so that we could dig deeper. Now, my mom, she really should check her source. And you should really check to see if my story is really true. But I'm just going to do it. Thank you very much.